Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hope everybody's doing all right this morning. Um, the last couple of weeks I've been teaching little uh, flow classes. Um, on Tuesdays it's more of a power class and on Thursdays it's a little bit more gentle vinyasa. So for those of you joining in um, and even those of you that watch this at a later time, I uh, just always know that you uh, should listen to your body and if, it, if we're moving too fast, you can always slow things down. Don't feel like you necessarily have to move at the speed that we are going. And I always want to make sure that you're listening to your body um, throughout the class. So today's going to be 45 minutes. We're going to be focusing, we're going to start out on the ground, work our way up into a little bit more vigorous vinyasa. We're going to be focusing on some salutes today, get some nice lunging in, get some good breath. Um, and body movement. So I hope you enjoy. So we'll start out lying down, feet facing towards the front of the mat, palms facing up. Let your palms come beside you, relax your shoulders, relax the muscles in the face and the jaw. Begin inhaling in through the nose, down into the belly. And as you exhale, cleansing, exhale out through the mouth like you're fogging up a mirror or the ceiling above you. So as you do this, visualize you're exhaling out any tension, any excess thoughts. So that the next 45 minutes or so is dedicated just for you and your body. You roll your head a little bit to the left and to the right. Just noticing what it feels like to feel supported by the earth. And then as you come back through center, gently bring your knees in towards you. Place your palms on the knees. Begin rocking a little bit left and right, back and forth. You can draw circles on the ceiling clockwise and counterclockwise with the knees. You can even move the knees counter to one another, opening the knees up, opening the hips up. And then bring your palms to the back of the knees. You straighten out the legs, stretch, kick out through the heels, the legs at the wall pose. Kind of point and flex the toes a little bit, waking up the backs of the calves, the Achilles. And with the palms of the back of the knees, we are rocking and rolling. Rock front and back. Begin getting a little massage along the spine. We're going to rock and roll onto all fours. So bring your palms underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Shift your hips to the back right side of the mat. Shift your hips to the back left side. Get a nice stretch down the side body. Really want to kind of wake things up before we get into our little bit more vigorous vinyasa. And then as you come back through center, palms underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, belly down, chest up, send their tailbone up towards the ceiling. Arch your spine, inhale. And as you exhale, cleansing, exhale out through the mouth. Tuck your chin to chest, come up on your fingertips. And a nice stretch behind the shoulders. Inhale, belly down, chest up. And exhale, like you're moving the energy along the spine. You can come up on your fingertips. One more time, inhale, belly down, deep breath, open up the lungs, send your tailbone up, eye gaze strips towards the ceiling. And exhale. Into your cat pose. Come back through center. Next inhale, lift your right leg up behind you. So, so, so you're sending your right heel towards the back of the mat. 
Right toes are up, left palm reaches towards the front of the mat, a little bird dog pose. Holding here, drawing some energy, some strength, some focus towards midline. Equal weight in the right palm and the left knee. Now from here, we're going to get a little, build up a little bit more heat. Release your left palm down underneath the left shoulder. Right heel in towards the right glute. With control, lower through a half chaturanga. This is our drinking bird. Elbows in by the side. And push back up. Second time, elbows in by the side. Lower yourself halfway down. Lift the right heel up towards the ceiling, or excuse me, towards the glutes. And push back up. One more time. Keep the right leg lifted. Lower, hover into your hold. And push back up. Release the right knee down. Okay, moving over to the opposite side. Hopefully that's starting to generate a little bit of body heat. So reach your left toes towards the back of the mat. Left heel up. Left heel in alignment with the left hip. Reach your right fingertips forward. So our bird dog on the opposite side. Equal weight, left palm, right knee. We're reaching out through the right fingertips and back through the left heel. And hold. Release your right palm down, left heel in towards the left glute. Palms underneath your shoulders. Okay, second time through this um, half chaturanga. So elbows in by the side, hover, hold, build your strength. Build your heat and push back up. Second time, lower down, hover. And push back up. Last time, lower down, hold. Keep your left heel in towards the left glute, toes flexed. And push back up. Release your left knee down. Nice job. Hopefully you start feeling a little bit of internal body heat towards the center of the core. Place your toes to the mat. Push the hips back up. Downward facing dog. So your first downward facing dog. Your palms are shoulder width apart. Your feet are hip distance apart. Let the head hang heavy. Walking your feet out a little bit. Left and right. Back and forth. Next, inhale, glide forward into a plank position. Hover shoulders over palms. There. Setting up for your first chaturanga. Elbows in by the side. Upward facing dog or cobra. Feel the stretch. Place the toes to the mat. Lift the hips up. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Nice. So you feel your feet, maybe walking your heels a little bit more. Let your heels get closer towards the ground. Stretch through the calves and the Achilles, back and forth. All right, next in, now reach your right leg up towards the sky. This is going to encourage the left heel to lower down. Right foot up. Bring your right foot forward to meet the right palm. Left foot forward to meet the right. On your inhale, reverse your way back out. We're coming up into a standing position to begin moving through our salutes. Palms up, reach up, little mini back bend, hips forward, head drops back, and make your way through center. All right, so I take a little bit of a variation on a traditional sun salute, so just um, kind of listen in. There's any subtle changes, but it's still breath with movement, so we're on. Um, Integrating the inhales and the exhales with each move. So on your inhale, bring your palms up towards the sky, reach up towards the ceiling, and on your exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your hips to shin, lengthen the crown of the head forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, right foot steps back into a lunge. Now let's stretch with the front of the right hip. Left foot steps back to meet the right plank position. Flow through Chaturanga. You can add a push up into this. Upward facing dog. And push back into your down dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up towards the sky. Bring the right foot forward to meet the right palm. The lunge for the front of the left hip. Little opening. Left hip flexor. Left foot steps forward to meet the right. Toes together, inhale, reverse your way back out, palms up, little mini back bend, 
And on your exhale, fold. Inhale, fingertip to shins, lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, left foot back into a lunge. Feel a stretch to the front of the left hip. Right foot steps back to meet the left plank position. Flow through your chaturanga. Upward facing. And push back into your down dog on the exhale. Inhale, left foot reaches up towards the sky. Left foot steps forward to meet the left palm. Right foot steps forward to meet the left. On your inhale, reverse your way back out. Come up, back bend. And drop your palms by the side. Okay, second set. Really feeling the heat starting to generate in the body. Movement. Get your lymphatic system moving. Get your circulation flowing. Second set. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, fingertips to shins. Lengthen the crown of the head forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen and look up. Exhale, right leg back into a lunge. Left foot steps back to meet the right. Flow through. And push back into your down dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up towards the sky. Bring the right foot forward to meet the right palm. Left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, bring yourself back out. Reach up, back bend. And on your exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen and look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen and look up. Exhale, left foot back into a lunge. Right foot steps back to meet the left. Flip through, chaturanga. Upward facing. And push back into your down dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up towards the sky. Bring the left foot forward to meet the left palm. Right foot forward to meet the left. On your inhale, bring yourself back out. Reach up, back bend. Guys, then drop your palms by the side. Okay, moving into our variations on our sun salutes. We're going to start out chair pose. Toes together, sit your weight back towards your heels. Make sure your knees are not coming forward over the ends of the toes. Palms out. Draw the navel in, sink down. Sending the energy down through the heels, reach through the fingertips, and on your exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, step your left foot back. Let your left heel come down towards the ground. Right foot 45, or excuse me, right foot's at 90, left foot at 45. Inhale, warrior one. Fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. Sink down for the stretch for the front of the left hip, strengthening for the right leg. Palms up. Reach up towards the sky on your exhale, open up into goddess arms. So elbows out to the side, making it 90 degrees with both arms. Keep your lunge, strong lunge on the right side. Send your energy out through the outside of the left heel. Release your palms down towards the ground. Right foot steps back to meet the left plank position. Flow through, chaturanga. Upward facing. Push back into your down dog. From here, step your left foot forward to meet the left palm. Right heel down. Inhale, warrior one on this opposite side. Palms reach up. So we're making our warrior one. Left side, sink down, ground up through the outside of the right foot. Sink deep. Make sure your left knee is not, not moving over the end of your left big toe. And elbows out to the side. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Throat open, heart open. Focus towards the sky. Send your elbows back slightly. Feel the strength, the power, the heat. Release your palms down towards the ground. Left foot steps back to meet the right. Plank position. Flow through, chaturanga. Upward facing. And push back into your down dog. From your downward facing dog, step, hop, or jump forward. Toes together, weight back into the heels. Chair pose. Inhale, palms forward. If it's uncomfortable for you in your chair to have your arms out in front of you, you can always bring them out to the side more of it at a 90 degree. 
degree. So see what feels right for you. Most important thing is that you don't have your hips or your knees forward. So hips back, chest open, and on your exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, step your left foot back. Left foot at 45, right foot at 90. Inhale, warrior one again. Sink down. This time we're changing things up. So we're still in our lunge, our warrior one. Release your palms behind you, interlock your fingers. Palms towards the tailbone. Inhale, open up the chest. And on your exhale, fold forward to the inside of the right leg. Right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. We're folding forward, filling an opening for the shoulders here, for the heart, the throat. Feel your strength on the right side. Hold. And release your palms down towards the ground. Right foot steps back to meet the left. Plank position. Flow through. Add your push up in if you would like. Upward facing, and push back into your down dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up towards the sky. Bring your left foot forward to meet the left palm, right heel down, inhale, warrior one. So we're going to move through a lot of warrior ones in this class. But after our warrior one, we're changing things up a little bit. So the second set, you're interlocking your fingers back around behind you. You can change which thumb is on top this time. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, fold forward to the inside of the left leg. Palms drop over the top of the head. Try not to put too much weight onto the left side here. Just let your palms drop over the head. Head drops down. Nice. Now release your palms down towards the ground. Left foot steps back to meet the right. Plank position. Chaturanga, flow through, upward facing dog. And push back into your down dog. From here, step up or jump forward. Forward fold, toes together, weight back into the heels. Here we go, inhale, palms forward, chair. Sink down. Feel the strength and the energy of your core. Draw the navel in towards the spine, so you have a strong core. Reach out, sink down. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, left foot back. 45 degrees, right foot 90. Okay, setting up. This time, warrior one. Sink deep. Getting a little bit deeper each time. Notice how the left hip flexor is starting to open up. You don't want to try to keep your both hips squared off towards the front of your mat. Palms up, warrior one. Okay, warrior two, open your left hip up towards the side wall. Palms are out. Eye gaze out through the middle finger on the right palm. You're in your warrior two. Shoulders over hips sink a little bit deeper. And wiggle your palms down towards the ground. Right foot steps back to meet the left. Plank position. Flow through, chaturanga. Upward facing, push back, down dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up towards the sky. Bring the left foot forward to meet the left palm. Right heel down, inhale, warrior one. Hopefully you're starting to build up a little bit of body heat at this point. Shoulders over hips as much as you can. Sink down, focus out in front of you. Our warrior posture is built a feel, feeling of strength, of stability, of groundedness, rootedness with the earth. Hey, okay, warrior two, open your right hip up towards the right side of the mat, shoulders over hips. Sink a little bit deeper. Crown of the head reaching upward, eye gaze out through the middle finger on the left palm this time. Sink lower. Change, wiggle your palms down towards the ground, left foot steps back to meet the right, plank position, flow through, chaturanga, upward facing, and push back into your down dog. Nice, inhaling in through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth, built up 
heat, built up stamina. From here, step hop or jump forward into your forward fold, toes together. All right, setting up, sink your hips back, you know where we're going. Hips back, tailbone towards the back of the mat, make sure your knees are not coming forward over the ends of the toes, inhale, chair pose. Utkatasana, fierce pose, it builds up a lot of internal body heat. So you can bounce up and down a little bit if you would like. This is also an extremely grounding posture. We're opening up our hips, our sacrum, and our root chakra. And you can send that energy down towards the earth. Fingertips forward and fold. Inhale, lengthen the look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen the look up. Exhale, left foot back into 45 degrees. Right foot at 90. Inhale, warrior one. Sink down, sink lower. Build your strength. Opening up the left side body. Now straighten out your right leg. We're going to turn our hips out to the side. Trikonasana pose. So hips turn out, make sure your left foot is still at a 45. Arms are out, relax your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown of the head. Exhale, reach forward towards the front of your mat. You can uh, place your palm on the top of the right shin or a block. Left palm reaches up towards the sky. Left shoulder stacks over right. Bring your focus up as much as you can. Try to ground down through the inside of the right big toe. Right foot. Reach, reach. Release your left palm towards the ground. Left heel rolls up. Right foot steps back to meet the left. Flow through. Chaturanga. Upward facing. And push back into your down dog. Inhale. Left leg reaches up towards the sky. Bring your left foot forward to meet the left palm. Right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Palms up. We're almost at the end of our salutes portion of this class. So sink deeper. Hips squared. Now open up. Straighten out your left leg. Open your hips up towards the right. We're going to get a trikonasana pose, triangle pose. Shift your energy back through your right hip, right heel. Reach your left fingertips forward, left palm to the top of the left shin or a block. Right palm reaches up towards the sky. Stack your right shoulder over left. Focus is up. You can try to straighten your left leg a couple of times. And then releasing your right palm towards the ground. Step your left foot back to meet the right into a plank position. Flow through, chaturanga. Upward facing. And push back into your down dog. From your downward facing dog, step up or jump forward into your forward fold. Okay, this is our final little series of salutes. So make this really strong. Ground your weight through the heels. Sit your hips back, inhale. Palms forward. Sink a little bit lower. As low as you can. Maybe bouncing a little bit. Find your strength in the quads. Find your balance. And on your exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, left foot back. Okay, final time, left heel down, final warrior one on this right side. So make this strong. Maybe you widen the stance in between the feet a little bit. Okay, sink down. Feel that body heat, palms reach up towards the sky. Square your shoulders off towards the front of the mat. Now we're going to open up into warrior two. Turn your thumbs up. Extended side angle. So bring your right elbow to the inside of the right knee. Left fingertips reach towards the front of your mat. Roll your left shoulder open. Reach through the left side body. Ground down through the outside of the left heel. Right elbow stay 
stays on the inside of the right knee. Inhale, make your way back out. Nice job, warrior two. Wiggle your palm down towards the ground. Right foot steps back to meet the left. Plank position, blow through, chaturanga. Upward facing. And push back into your down dog. Opposite side, inhale, left leg reaches up. Bring your left foot forward to meet the left palm. Right heel down, inhale, warrior one. Sink deep. Square your shoulders off. Open up into warrior two. Shoulders over hips. Left palm forward, right palm back. Turn your thumbs up. Left elbow to the inside of the left knee. Right fingertips are now reaching towards the front of your mat. Roll your right shoulder open, reach through the right side body. I gaze up. Hold. And change. Make your way back out. Back into your warrior two. Wiggle your palms down towards the ground. Left foot steps back to meet the right. Plank position. Flip through. Chaturanga. Upward facing. And push back into your down dog. From your downward facing dog. Step up or jump forward. We're going to jump into a squat position into Malasana. So bring your feet slightly out to the side of the mat. Palms going to be out in front of you. We're going to do some Malasana jump back. So they're similar to burpees actually. We want to keep the heat moving this morning. So let your hips drop down towards your heels. Your elbows are at the inside of the knees. Now, totally give you the option to stay here. You don't have to move through the jump backs. But the jump backs will give you a little additional cardio. So, release your palms down towards the ground. Step, hop, or jump into your plank position. Flow through, chaturanga. Upward facing. Push back into your down dog. From your downward facing dog, step up or jump forward. Back into your squat position. We're going to do this a couple of times, moving at your own pace. So go through it until I call for you to stop. So release your palms down, hop, flow. You can do this three or four times, moving at your own pace, keeping the heat moving, the energy flowing this Tuesday morning. Get any stagnation out of the hips, out of the feet. Release your palms down, step, hop, or jump, plank position, flow through, chaturanga. Upward facing, push back into your down dog. Move through one more, wherever you are, and we'll meet back into our squat. So move through that last time. Step up or jump plank. Flow through. Meet back into your down dog. And from your downward facing dog, reach your right leg up towards the sky. Take your right knee to the outside of the left elbow mountain climber. We'll ab work here strengthening and push back out. Right knee to the outside of the right elbow. Tap and hold. And push back out. Right knee in towards the forehead. Chin to chest. Come up on your left toes. And drop your right foot by your right palm. We're going to move through a twist. Left palm down. Inhale up. Right palm reaches up towards the sky. We'll twist here. Opening up the right side body, ground on through the left palm. Send energy back through your left heel. Nice, now release your right palm down. We're moving into a lizard pose. The right foot is going to walk to the right side of the mat. Make sure your right toes are turned slightly outward. Left knee comes towards the ground. Top of the left foot to the mat. A couple options. You can stay here with the arms straight. Or, if you would like to move into a little bit deeper stretch, you can lower down to the elbows. Coming down to the elbows, palms can come together out in front of you. 
Let your right knee roll slightly outward. Make sure your right knee is tracking with the middle toes on the right foot. Sink down. Release your palms out in front of you. Start straightening out the arms. Wiggle your right foot back to into alignment with the right hip. Flex the toes on the right foot like you're bringing your right big toe towards the right shin. Shift your right hip back. Inhale, lengthen out through the crown of the head first. And on your exhale, fold forward towards the right shin. Feel the stretch behind the right hip, right hamstring as you fold. Nice. Now releasing your right foot towards the ground. We're going to come back into a lunge position. Lift your left leg up, right foot steps back to meet the left plank position. Flow through, chaturanga. Upward facing. And push back into your down dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up towards the sky. Take your left knee to the outside of the right elbow mount climber. Inhale, out. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, out. Exhale, left knee to forehead, chin to chest. Come up on your right toes. And drop your left foot by your left palm. Right palm down. Inhale into your twist. Stack your left shoulder over right. Reach through your left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Opening nice. Release your left palm down. We'll get your left foot wide, so now your left knee is tracking with the middle toe on the left foot. Lizard pose, palms out in front of you, straighten out the arms, inhale, lengthen out, top of the right foot to the mat. And on your exhale, fold forward. So you can come down into your lizard pose, elbows towards the top of the mat. Crown of the head releasing towards the palms. And you can even roll onto the outside of this left foot if you would like. Feeling a stretch with the inside of the left hip. And then releasing your palms back out in front of you, you're going to straighten out your right leg, or left leg. Let your left heel come into alignment with the left hip. Inhale, lengthen out, exhale, fold forward, forehead towards the left shin. You may notice a difference side to side. Kind of keep your hips squared off towards the front of the mat, forehead towards the left knee as you fold. Feel that energy move through that back and the left hip, left leg. Lowering down. And then from here, release your left foot towards the ground. You're coming back into a low lunge position. Left foot steps back to meet the right. Plank position, flow through, chaturanga, make this strong. Upward facing. And push back into your down dog. From your downward facing dog, step hop or jump forward. And we're going to come into a seated position. Do a little ab work here before we make our way towards the um, lying down all the way. So, let's strengthen the abs, strengthen the core. Lift your shin or legs up off the ground. Um, we're moving into a boat pose. There's lots of variations of Navasana. Shins are parallel towards the mat, palms out in front of you. Draw the belly in, hold. Feel the strength. You can straighten out the legs a little bit if you would like. And lower halfway down into a hover. And come back up. Halfway down 
down into a hold and come back up. One more time, halfway down, hold. Come back up and release both legs down. All right, you can straighten out the spine a little bit. Maybe grab the knees, get some length along the spine. We're gonna move some, through some oblique work, so some twisting. Feet out in front of you, about hip distance apart. You're gonna roll your hips slightly back, so you wanna feel your lower abdominal muscles engage here in the pelvis. Palms out in front of you. Inhale, lengthen up, reach out towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist over towards the right. Almost like you're gonna let your right shoulder touch the ground. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, twist over towards the left side. Hold. Inhale, up. We're twisting back and forth. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist left. Back through center. One more time on each side. Back through center and twist left. Back through center, lower all the way down. Reach your palms above the top of the head. Bring the knees in towards you and send your heels up towards the ceiling. Keeping up with some abdominal work, abdominal strengthening. Palms behind the back of the head, elbows out to the side. Inhale. Lift your head slightly, right elbow towards the left knee. Hover your right foot above the ground. Come back through center. Left elbow, right knee. Back through center, right elbow, left. Back through center, left elbow, right, back and forth. And you get a snap, crackle, pop, a little natural adjustment of your spine. this one more time, each side. Release your heels down, palms come beside you. Whew, take a nice breath. We're going to move into a bridge here in just a moment. Just let your body kind of acclimate to feeling the earth. Starting to slow things down a little bit. So your feet are about hip distance apart. Weight comes into the heels, we're moving into a bridge pose. If you're familiar, familiar with Shikrasana or wheel and would like to move into wheel, please feel free. Obviously, um, if you don't have anybody to assist you in wheel, please be careful. Make sure you're protecting the neck and the spine as you come up. But for your bridge pose, we're just interlocking the fingers underneath the glutes, hips lift, knees towards the front of the mat slightly. Lots of variations for your bridge. So you can stay with both feet on the ground, or there's an option, make this a little bit more intense, you can lift one leg, lift your right leg towards the ceiling. Make sure you're not collapsing into the left hip. Right foot down, inhale, left leg lifts. Same thing here, strengthening the right leg, strengthening the right glute. Lower down. Lift out your hips up a little bit higher one more time. Right leg lifts. Right foot extends up towards the ceiling. Right leg down, inhale, left leg, left side. Release your left leg down. Unlock the palms and roll yourself out. You may need to shake the palms out a little bit. If they've had any tension, any holding from your bridge. All right, moving here into a modification of pigeon pose. Cross your right knee or right ankle over the left knee, making a figure four. 
Thread the needle, right palm through the legs, grabbing the back of the left thigh, the top of the left shin. Pull your left leg towards you. Feel the stretch for the outside of the right hip. And draw a couple circles with the left ankle or toes clockwise and counterclockwise. And then let your left heel come towards the center of the mat. Cross the right knee over left. So we're moving into a spinal twist here from the ground. Left foot is going to stay in the middle of the mat. Let both knees drop to the left. Upper body opens towards the right. So your eye gaze is drifting over towards your right shoulder. Twist along the belly. Twist along the spine. And then slowly come back through center. Readjust your hips. So now your hips are back into alignment with the shoulders. Cross your left ankle over the right knee, making a figure four. Let your left palm through the flow through the legs, grabbing the back of the right thigh, the top of the right shin. Pulling the left leg towards you. Then releasing the right foot towards the center of the mat. Cross your left knee over right. Let both knees drop to the right. Now the upper body opens towards the left side of the mat. And then gently make your way back through center, readjusting the hips, let both knees come in towards you. Place your palms on the knees, rock a little bit, you can draw circles on the ceiling again, just like we did at the beginning of class, and I want you to notice any changes in the body, hopefully you feel like your spine is a little bit longer. You can draw a couple more circles, clockwise, counterclockwise, opposite of one another. Then moving through our final happy baby, or you can move into a shoulder stand if you're familiar with the shoulder stand. Lots of options for happy baby. Your knees are about to the area of the rib cage, and then you send your heels up towards the ceiling. Your Thumb, your palms or your um, pointer finger and your middle finger can grab the inside of the big toe or you can grab the outside of the feet fully with the palms, whatever feels good for you. And I always like to try to straighten my legs out a little bit. That gives you a deeper stretch on the inner thigh. If you're straightening out the legs slightly. Feeling a much deeper opening in the hips. center. Let the bottom of the feet come together. Knees fall wide. Your palms can either lay right on the pelvis or you can place them by the side. Having any excess thoughts about your day. And just letting your breath flow through you, inhaling deep in through the nose. And exhaling out through the mouth, cleansing, exhaling. 
exhale. You can do that as many times as you would like. That cathartic exhale. Imagine you're moving anything stagnant, anything weighing on you. You're sending that away and refueling with this fresh, vibrant life force. Welcome to stay in your Shavasana as long as you would like. I hope everybody enjoyed my salutes this morning. Uh, tune in on Thursday. We'll do more of a gentle class. This was a little bit um, swifter pace, but uh, all of my YouTubes are, are all my <laughs> live Facebook videos are being posted on YouTube so you can catch them after the fact if maybe you tuned in about halfway through. Um, and I'm also taking additional requests for other types of videos. So I hope everybody is having a wonderful Tuesday. I miss everyone so much. I'm uh, excited for when things open back up and I can see everybody. But I love you and I'll hopefully see you soon. Namaste.